Welcome back. Now, Namibia continues to face the persistent challenge of malaria, particularly in vulnerable northern regions where mosquito-borne infections remain a pressing public health concern. In response to this, one young Namibian entrepreneur, Urbano Shetunyenga, has developed Omwe insecticide paper, a groundbreaking portable and affordable indoor mosquito killer designed to support malaria control efforts as the country works towards long-term solutions. Innovations such as Omwe offers a fresh homegrown approach to protecting communities and saving lives. In this conversation, we speak to the man behind the brand to learn more about the vision, development and the impact of this promising new product. Urbano, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Are the nerves a bit less now? A little bit. <laughs> but we'll see how we get along. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much for making time to, to be here this uh, evening. When I saw this, I thought, that, no, we definitely have to chat to you about this. This is groundbreaking. This is innovative. Mm -hmm. So take us back to the beginning and, and, and tell us what really inspired you to create, um, you know, Omwe and, and, and insecticide paper. Of course. Mm. Of course, Nina. So um, Omwe insecticide paper first came about during my studies in London, the United Kingdom where I was doing my studies in 2017 mm -hmm. and I was always about looking for innovative solutions to bring back home. This is something that my parents always told me, always go there and bring something back home. Yeah. So uh, during that time, I was looking for s issues to solve and malaria has been a major issue across the African continent, yeah. Namibia as well. As you know, recently in the news, uh, we've seen a record of 56,000 malaria cases mm -hmm. and 100 deaths. Mm -hmm. And malaria is an is a issue that could be prevented. So uh, adding, on to the next, adding on to that point, um, I found a unique tool that was currently, that was being manufactured in Liverpool and it's uh, manufactured by my partners to the highest international standards. And this product has the potential to actually uh, change the way we address uh, uh, malaria prevention and uh, the control of how these diseases actually spread. Mm -hmm. And that's what brought us here today. How did this idea come to life? Because of course you've got this wonderful uh, sort of pursuit to be innovative and to bring something meaningful home and, and please your parents, etc. Yeah. But then the work needs to happen and you need to put, you know, pen to paper and bring it to life. So talk to us about the process it took, um, you know, to bring the project um, to what it is that we see uh, today. Of course. Uh, so what actually happened is that we went through a very long registration process mm. with the Ministry of Agriculture. The government has been extremely supportive in helping us do so. Uh, we went through a lot of uh, uh, checks to make sure that it's actually healthy and safety, safe for the people, for the yes. public. Uh, as soon as we finally got registered, uh, we started working on the branding and the marketing campaign. We just recently started our marketing campaign <laughs> and uh, the feedback has been extremely positive. Uh, we've seen that uh, there is a, a, a great support behind the product. There's mm -hmm. a huge demand for the product as well as uh, support. So what we've seen is that uh, Namibians do take pride in their products and they do ask you, okay, um, does this product actually perform? Mm -hmm. And we give them a, absolutely, the feedback has been perform phenomenal, yeah. really. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned, malaria is not only a Namibian issue, but an African issue, but yeah. it does co continue to affect um, plenty Namibians. I think just today as well in the news, we've learned that there's been over 1,200 cases yeah. uh, recorded in a very short space of time and, and three deaths. And the ministry actually said, uh, I think it was yesterday, the Ministry of Health, that they are looking for, you know, different ways to combat, um, you know, this, this crisis that we're sitting with. So how do you envision 
um, on we contributing to national uh, you know efforts to combat uh, the l malaria disease. Okay, so we see OMWE as a vector control tool that is complementary to the existing tools that the Namibian government is using right. that have been authorized, right, as per the national vector control policy. And we believe this will be complementary to those existing tools. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, we say that our product is easy to use, it is affordable, effective, and it is guaranteed to perform. And uh, not just this, but we think that uh, it will be an additional extra layer of protection in terms of our healthcare system, uh, in terms of having a robust, more robust response to outbreaks in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always, there's always room for improvement, especially for localized uh, products that are locally accessible as of this moment. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of stock. We're a new company and we're looking for partnerships and we're looking for ways to uh, share this solution with the rest of the nation. I'm sure everybody that heard the intro was like an insecticide paper. How does it work? What does it actually look like? So talk to us about how the Omwe insecticide paper um, actually works and what makes it different from other mosquito um, control methods that you know we find on the market currently. So Omwe insecticide paper is an indoor based uh, vector control tool and uh, how you use it is incredibly simple. What you do, if I may give you an example, I won't be lighting it over here, by the way. You simply have a booklet of 12 sheets. You remove one so it's like, sheet. It looks like a sticky, sticky note uh, yes. sort of paper, yes? Yes, okay. yes, it's pink and it's quite fl flagrant as well. As you can try and smell it. It okay. has a lavender spice to it. Oh, so it smells it's, so nice. Oh, yes, it has a softer uh, scent to it. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really good for okay. the atmosphere and all of that. But even though it smells soft, it's still effective. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you fold it like so, you burn the tip, and then you blow out the flame immediately. I repeat that you blow out the flame so immediately. So this paper is highly flammable? Yes, it's flammable just like any other paper, okay. but what you do is that you burn it and then you put it in a tray or somewhere safe, okay. away from flammable uh, items, as okay. you would treat any flammable good. It smells so good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it doesn't smell like the normal drooms. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we know, yeah. You know, the product is so good that I use it myself at yeah. home and I give it to all my family members and my <laughs> friends and my neighbors for free. Yeah. I, my, they can all testify to this. And um, yeah, so you... You fold it like so. You fold it like light so. Light it on this end. Light it on this blow end. Blow it out immediately. Immediately. And put it into the bowl or whatever bowl it is that you're holding or a it tray, into. tray, ashtray. Okay. And then you leave it to burn for around about two to three minutes in a room, a closed space, in a room of 10 to square, 10 to 15 square meters. Okay. Right. The windows should be closed. You leave the room, come back after 10 to 15, 15 minutes, you'll see the magic all the mosquitoes will be dead. Mm -hmm. So in my experience, and some of my friends' experience, <laughs> all right, uh, you will hear the mosquitoes crying. <laughs> I, I, swear, I swear it's not a joke, but uh, it's very effective. And it actually delivers on the promise. Mm -hmm. And um, the product is, uh, is, is actually quite innovative in this regard. Uh, it has an active ingredient called transfluthrin. Mm -hmm. This active ingredient is World Health Organization approved, okay. right? It's the Rolls-Royce, if I may, <laughs> of uh, active ingredients. Mm -hmm. Why? Because even the most resistant mosquitoes cannot actually withstand it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's able to perform even in the most challenging environments. Uh -huh. And I'm talking about mosquitoes that normally would uh, uh, spread yellow fever, mm. dengue, mm. Um, you know, the likes. Uh, uh, this is the sort of product that we have before us and we're offering this to the public. Urbano, how long does the effect last, firstly? So it lasts for eight hours. Okay. Right. This is one sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. One sheet of paper lasts for eight hours. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. I also want to know, since it's a, a general, well, I'm not, it says insecticide paper, does it work for other insects as well? So I know we're aiming to get rid of mosquitoes, but should there be flies or whatever else in the room, will they be affected too? You know, <laughs> this product is good for moths as well. 
we don't market it this way, but mm -hmm. it also uh, takes it. It is it's the number one enemy of moths. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then another mm, insect uh, I know it in Afrikaans, uh, michis. Michis, yes. The michis, yes, yes. yes, yes. I always see them at home around the fruits and all yes, of this. Yes, yes, I yes. always have this uh, uh, burnt around the household and they disappear immediately. Okay. Oh yes, oh yes. But I don't market it as such because it's registered as a mosquito yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, affordability and, and access, access, accessibility, yeah. <laughs> Urbano, are key, yes. uh, you know, are key for products such as this. So, so how have you ensured that, you know, Omi remains both effective, but of course within the reach of every Namibian, especially the, the Namibians that are, you know, in areas that are most affected um, by mosquitoes? Of course, um, you know, that is our main uh, goal and it's our main objective, accessibility for. Uh, we've been speaking to major distributors across the country to help us with a nationwide uh, rollout. And um, so far, uh, it's been quite successful. Uh, we've also engaged with uh, not just the distributors, but also with uh, re um, the foundations as well mm -hmm. and local authorities in supporting us to do so. Um, the, 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 the way that we've done it is through donations. We've worked with Meatco Foundation and the old apostolic, apostolic uh, church mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we donated around about 3,000 just for testing, just, for, just so that the public could actually familiarize themselves right, with the product. Right. And not just this, we've also engaged with uh, the distributors. We've started our campaign and so far it's going quite well. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Of course, as a young entrepreneur, um, entrepreneurial journeys are never easy. So what were some of the challenges um, that you faced in, you know, launching this health-focused product here in Namibia? Um, Namibia takes its regulatory compliance quite seriously. Uh, this is with regards to uh, how chemicals can often impact the environment. Yeah. Uh, we've uh, worked very closely with authorities to make sure that we were compliant with all the rules and regulations and health and safety standards. This was our number one priority and I coordinated that myself very closely. And uh, we made sure that we followed all the rules in order to make sure that we got our product to the public safely. Yeah. Um, we did all that and the government supported our pro product and registered it and now we can do so in a, in a, a the correct manner mm -hmm. yeah well for the general public who's eager i'm sure right now asking ask where we can get it where can they get a hold of of the omway product okay so we've uh, we are currently available at rani group in ondangwa uh, other stores are currently uh, working on okay. uh, unloading uploading our product putting our product on their shelves and um, it can be quite of a lengthy process, mm. but uh, there's a good progress and there's great demand. As you say, uh, we are on our way. Yeah. We are on our way. So if you're not in Ndangwa, they can contact you directly and get a couple of, of sachets course. and so on. Of and and you can you know, send it down to them here in Bentuk of or whatever. Course. Of course. Fantastic. We'll get your social media handles in just a bit. But I want to ask, for yeah. a sachet such as this, that's got 20 pieces of paper in them so there are 12 sheets of 12 paper sheets in of paper yes. in here yes. and how much do you retail it for oh we retail it for uh you know before i tell you we play a game <laughs> i wanted to ask you what do you think the price is what would the average price be well, normally for, well of, I'm, I'm gonna compare it to what we find in the shops which is like the cans of sprays and stuff like that yes. which is in the between 70 to 100 dollar range there we go so now this product is a mind-boggling Ten Namibian dollars. Ten dollars. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Accessibility is everything yeah. to us, and that's what we're working on, and that's our objective. That's our target price. Yeah. You know, and uh, we do believe that that will be the price that gets out there. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to see soon. You know. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, looking ahead, what's your vision for Umwe in the next, you know, few years? Are you planning to expand? Um, you know, innovate further, or, you know, even collaborate, of course, with public um, health entities. Of course. Um, our vision uh, at Omwe is very clear. It's uh, accessibility. 
accessibility is our main objective. We want to make sure that the product is accessible to all. Mm -hmm. um, not only this, but we want to continue producing high quality performing products. Um, you know, we want to do this for Namibians, but not only that, we want to also do it by Namibians, right? Um, there's this uh, thing of, oh, the product says made in the UK. No, the thing is, this product has Namibian youth behind it. Mm -hmm. And not just that, we plan to actually bring manufacturing into the country. Yes. And this not only, we don't do this just for show. We actually want to do this for the sake of reducing cost. It's a strategic move, actually. Yeah. Namibia yeah. is a great place to do business in terms of the economy and the youth that's going to be coming in. That we recently we'll be having a lot of people that are educated mm. and ready to support us. So uh, we want to employ the local uh, uh, here as well. And we not just want to do that. We also want to empower communities in terms of health and safety. We want to make sure less people die from malaria. It's yeah. a preventable uh, disease yeah. and we can definitely achieve it together. Um, our, desire is to additionally work with the Ministry of Health. Uh, we would love to um, have OMWE in the national vector control policy mm. so that you know, local products could also be considered as worthy of uh, you know, uh, attending to the, the general public when yeah. it comes to malaria. And um, that's my vision and I'm Sure, we're gonna get there. I think you are too. Yeah. Well, thank Urbano, you. thank you so much for being here. I love this. African solutions to African problems. Indeed, man. I love it. Thank you for well, having me. Thank you me. so much for being here. We appreciate it. Lovely. Well, that was Urbano, the managing director of Omwe Insecticide Paper, um, a, pr a paper that's produced to combat, um, of course, malaria on the biggest scale of things. But um, yes, you can use it within your home. It's 12 sheets of paper in this little uh, packet and um, it gets rid of mosquitoes and of course other bugs as well, but mainly mosquitoes. Um, you can get a hold of them on their social media pages if you'd like to contact them directly and ask some questions or even purchase this from them at Omwe Insecticide that is on Instagram. We'll be right back after this very brief break. Do stay with us.